guys, it's Kugli again with another ROM review and this time I've got the Statix OS for the OnePlus 3, so stay tuned for that. So guys, the Statix OS, it's a relatively new ROM in the uh, space of ROMs available for the OnePlus 3. OnePlus 3 does have a lot of ROMs and uh, it's a new one. I've been using it for some time now. It's pretty cool. Uh, let's get started. Now, first of all, there's a launcher here. Uh, the new update, something you should know is that uh, I have been using the previous update, which was the 9.1.19 version, which was uh, released on 9th of January. This one, which I'm trying out right now, is the 13th January, which was yesterday. Now, there are a few things. Uh, there are a few differences. Not much, though. There is one new extra style for the uh, quick setting tiles, which is pretty cool to have. And the other uh, Launcher 3 updates are also available. By the way, that is the launcher available on this ROM. So, just that aside, every other data is basically what I acquired from the previous version. But I guess it will hold true for this one also. With that out of the way, let's go to the settings menu. In the About Phone page, you can see that it is uh, Statics OS, Android 9.0 of course, version 2 unofficial uh, on the 13th January, that is the version with the January security patches, SNS status is enforcing and it is using Unicorn Blood Fruitcake as the kernel and uh, if you are someone who uses or who knows what it means or what it is, Hey, kudos to you, you have been in the ROM building stream or ROM using scene for long enough to know the unicorns. Now let's get to the other features of the ROM. This is not the most feature rich ROM, but it does have very good mix of features which I like. Uh, let's get started. Now first of all, all the other stuff uh, does work out. VOLT is working. Uh, the forum page does say that it may or may not work. Uh, I can assure you that it works on Geo in India, so you don't need to worry about that. We're using it uh, constantly. One thing which I do want to mention is that with the 13th January version, the uh, GApps package with which it comes, it comes with a simple GApps package which is recommended to be flashed. If you flash that with the 13th January version, none of the applications are installed. None of the system applications like dialer, messenger, uh, camera, none of it is installed. That is something which you do need to keep in mind because uh, if you are expecting a call, if you are expecting a message, you will miss out on it if you are banking on this one picking up on the get-go. You will have to go in to Play Store and install it. Good thing is that it does support Play Store um, algorithms for using Google applications. So I have actually installed Google Dialer and uh, it's been working out really well. So there are things which you need to keep in mind. One more thing which I do want to mention is that when setting up uh, the data transfer tool force closes so it will you will be unable to restore your backup from your previous ROM uh, if you do use Google's backup feature for uh, call logs and SMS I personally use that for that you won't be able to do that so use a third-party application like migrate for that Th these are a few things these are a few things which I did want to let you guys know so let's get to the features now first of all all the extra features are inside the spark sub menu in the spark sub menu you can see gestures it does have AOSP gestures which is double tap to uh, jump to camera with the, by the power button activate torch by using power button is also available which is pretty cool to have prevent vibration is available which would be stupid on a oneplus device but it's still there three finger gestures are available which does work out really well most of the stuff here is working you don't need to worry too much into it double tap on lock screen and status bar is available here the lock screen option you do have weather temperature unit can be customized quick unlock is available and lock screen shortcut can be customized i have set it to none because that looks better in the miscellaneous option noisy notification can be enabled if the screen is on the recent menu style can be customized from pi and oreo which you whichever you like which does work out icon back customization is also available then the navigation option you do have an option for navigation bar it doesn't have gesture navigation but it's pretty much okay because you have hardware buttons for navigation i personally would prefer that rather than having gesture navigation which is still not the best on the usb space if you are do use navigation bar you do have option to select from smart bar and fling options which does work out in the status bar option you can check out uh, status bar items you can customize that it doesn't have vlt icon but as i've already said vlt does work out 
Battery styles are available, you can customize the battery percentage can also be enabled inside the icon, outside the icon. Clock options are also available with AM PM indicator, AM PM small, AM PM hidden, all that is available, does work out. In the system options, you do have advanced restart enabler, so I have enabled that, have been working really well. Power menu options can be customized, what all stuff appears in the power menu. And also smart pixel, it does actually have smart pixel, which has been fine for any other ROMs. I personally don't use it all the time, but when I, whenever I do, it actually does work work fairly well and I have been happy with that. That is it in the Sparks menu options. In the other stuff, in the display options, you can see a brightness, um, LFD brightness is available, nightlight is available, ambient display options are available where you do have always on and new display or new notification options which does work out. It doesn't have the pickup sensor and all that but uh, that's fine though. Now it does have themes and it does work out. You can select black theme and it will go emulate black all the things. Uh, I personally do like that a lot. It does work out really well. So I've just selected emulate black for the theme and it does work out. Accent color selector is available which is pretty nice to have. It doesn't have white color though which I do find in many other ROMs. I'm not really sure why that is but uh, it is available. In the quick settings, Q, uh, quick setting theme tile, you can customize most of the tiles here. Um, this is pretty cool. It does work out really well. A few styles has been added in the 13th January version. I believe this is new for 13th January, but it is available. It just gives it a little bit of flair. There is font customization option and all of these fonts are available. Not the most biggest ensemble of font, but something, some few fonts here are uh, one of few of my favorites the EXO2 Ubuntu fonts these are like my favorite fonts available the, the most favorite font of mine is Oswald and uh, I can just flash a zip file and get that here so it does work out really well then the density option is available you do have options for customizing the font size and display size which as any other pyro rom sound options you can customize everything it does have vibrate or ring uh, phone ringtone can be customized touch vibration is also available that does work out no issues in that regard one thing which i do want to mention is that i am running re uh, decrypted device if you are running encrypted Please do check the forum see if it is working or not because I cannot give you a confirmation on that. That is it in the feature section. As you can see, it's not the most feature rich ROM, but the features given here are pretty unique. I mean, not unique in the sense that it is not available anywhere else, but unique in the sense that these are the these are a few settings which I would personally consider to be pretty great. There are a lot of settings which I would have still liked to have, like volume controls, volume key controls would be amazing to have i would really like to have that and a few more settings for quick setting panel these are available i mean these are not new options there are roms available with these settings so i would have liked to have that but i mean whatever it is now the battery life the battery life has been fairly good um the active drain is nothing special i was getting about 13 to 14 percentage of active drain which is pretty much part of the course uh, if of any other ROM on this phone so nothing special going on there idle drain though was pretty amazing I was getting about 0.8 percentage of idle drain which uh, I've already told this previously that in my usage with my applications it may not be 0.8 uh, I would consider anything below 1.4 percentage or 1.5 percentage to be really good but these are the applications which I use normally I do have metal which is Facebook application I do have WhatsApp I do have Instagram I do have caller ID or two caller which with uh, always on enabled but still on an average I would consider about 1% of idle drain to be normal this one has 0.8 which is pretty good I like that now the performance of the ROM I do want to mention that previous uh, version the actual version which I tried out the score was pretty low I was getting about 154,000 for uh, this particular ROM static OS on the previous versions but the newer version or the latest version seems to have gone back to 163 which is okay um which is still which i mean ties up with any other pi rom so nothing special going on there now the stability of the rom stability of the rom is uh, pretty good i would say um the only problem which i did mention or did face is because of g apps which is uh, something which you need to keep in mind with the G app, because it is using all the Google application, it was using all the Google applications, you will have to select the default application for the phone and messenger or else you will not be able to uh, accept or make any calls. That is something which you need to keep in mind. But apart from that, nothing special. One thing uh, the developer does know about this, uh, once you restart the device, you will have to unlock the device when the screen turns on 
or else the screen will freeze and you will not be able to turn on the device. This is a known bug. They are working on it. The developer is working on it. To be extremely honest, it only happens once and I did not have any random reboot. So I think that's safe to say that it won't really matter much to the end user. Now the camera because uh, as you can see there is no camera because the ROM does not come with a camera. Uh, you are free to choose any camera application be it Gcam or OnePlus camera application or the thousands of camera applications available in Play Store. Uh, personally if Gcam was not available I would have chosen footage camera that is one of the best cameras available or open camera is also pretty good. So you can choose your heart's desire and uh, just use it. Um, there's no score for camera or no comment on camera. It's what you need. Now the aesthetics of the ROM. The aesthetics of the ROM, as I've already told you guys, the theme engine works really well. Uh, one, one thing which you also you need to keep in mind is that uh, if you have Substratum installed, uh, theme engine will not work for some reason or uh, the theme engine will refuse to turn on you will not be able to select any themes. I had to uninstall Substratum to get that working. It is a very old uh, practice or it's a very old method. I believe it was in Marshmallow or something. It's just still there here. Now let's uh, talk about the overall experience of the ROM. The overall experience of the ROM for me has been pretty good. I would say it's good. What I want to say is that again there are ROMs out there which actually does make me want to still use them once twice or come back to them after um, going through another rom this is not one of them i'm not saying that this is not a good rom it's a very good rom it's a fantastic rom which uh, most people will likely find use in uh, it does work everything works out really well uh, it uses google applications if you are into that and uh, it just works really well you don't really need to customize a lot of things into it because it doesn't really have a lot of features built into it so that is what this ROM is about. So yeah, I guess uh, that's what I wanted to talk about. Let me show you guys the boot animation, which is pretty cool. So here is the boot animation for Statics OS. And I love this boot animation. This is the inverse Google boot animation. Google boot animation, I like it, but it's all white. And I have been thinking what it would look like with all black background and that's what you saw there it works really well i like that so guys there you have it that is the statics os for the one plus three i have to say that i do like this rom a lot it works really well probably not going to be my daily driver though uh, i do want to try out other roms in the meantime so yeah that's one thing hope you guys like the video please share subscribe and like the video if you found it useful see you guys next time bye